hello? Is, is this thing on? How, how does this recording thing work again? Um, hello. Welcome back. Shogun 2. It's me. I know it's uh, it's been a little bit. It's been uh, just 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 like a couple months or something. I think maybe uh, close to a year. But here I am. I uh, I'm still alive. No, not to worry. Um, yeah. So hello. Um, probably should have considered more about how I was gonna start this video, but I thought I'd just be weird and funny and pretend that. Um, it's, you know, it's just a normal, uh, normal let's play, but it's not, is it? It's, uh, it's been a while. So, if you're new here, this is probably not the right video to watch, because it's going to be kind of weird. Uh, I'll probably have to start off with a little bit of rambling, updating you guys on what's been going on, I suppose. Uh, I probably should make a dedicated update video on that, but I suppose I should, uh, quickly cover what's been going on. Um, I'm sure most of you will be aware I... Got married, had a child, ran out of time, um, ended up getting a part-time job instead, working in an escape room, which is incredibly fun, and not really considered work. It's more just, it's just fun and getting paid to have fun, kind of like what used to be, uh, what, what YouTube used to be. Um, but I, uh, I, I always had the intention of coming back to YouTube. Now I'm not saying this is me coming back to YouTube. This is definitely me doing a let's play on YouTube. Uh, there's no denying that. Uh, but we have Siski to thank for that, who is, or was, I'm not sure if he still is, he probably is, uh, a patron. He he actually became a, a Rohu patron uh, um, and essentially sponsored this Let's Play. That was back in, I think, December, or maybe earlier than that. And I am very sorry to you, Siski, for making you wait this long. Um... It's been difficult. I uh, just, in general, my passion for YouTube kind of was gone um, as I had less time to, to work on YouTube and just getting demotivated in general. Wasn't super interested in making videos that much anymore. It's why I spent a couple of months playing just games that I felt like playing, which I don't know if I'll continue those. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I kind of want to, but on the other hand, making videos having like no views is kind of pointless as well but on the other hand i don't really care as much anymore because now i have an actual part-time job i don't really need to do this for the money anymore um but yeah so uh that's that's kind of it so i've been gone uh not necessarily fully back yet but i will start uploading this slowly over the next couple of weeks until it's finished and then we'll see what we go where we go from there uh, i also want to quickly just a, a little shout out to myself, I suppose. I did start a different channel, a completely different channel, on um, painting miniatures because that's where my passion mostly lies at the moment and has been for a couple of years, to be honest. Um, but I never really actually decided to make a channel until a couple of months ago. I only have a couple of videos on there. I, again, I don't don't have a lot of time, so I um, I was a, I'm, I'm, I can make a video every two or three weeks or so. Um, yeah, I'm painting the Fellowship from uh, Lord of the Rings right now. You guys all know I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan. So, if you have any interest in watching me paint miniatures, uh, there'll be a link in the description to that channel for sure. It's just, that's purely hobby. Like, I'm not expecting to ever really make any money from that. That's just me having fun painting miniatures, essentially. Uh, but with highly edited videos, I spend a lot more time editing those videos than I do these ones, I'll tell you. Um, but anyway. Um... Right, I think that's about enough rambling for now. Um, so again, thank you to Sivsky for sponsoring this and making me at least uh, do something back on, on this channel and um, hopefully sparking, um, you know, reigniting the flame with YouTube, uh, I suppose. Uh, there's also, of course, you know, whenever there will be a new Total War game uh, coming out, especially a historical Total War game, I'll be a lot more interested in it as well. Uh, I hope if it's, you know, if it's a game that, that it looks like it'll be good. Um, you know, I, I did enjoy Warhammer 3 for what it was, but it's still not really where my passion lies. And I've just lately, I've not really been enjoying the, the Total War vision, I suppose. I used to be a, a lot bigger fan of Total War than I am now, I think. I don't know. I still like the games, but it's just Warhammer is not really my thing. I, li I liked Free Kingdom, but even then it was still, you know, a lot of the, the, the battles were fucking trash in that. Like, the campaign was fantastic, but the battles were eh. 
um Troy I played like one campaign and then kind of gave up on it because it wasn't that fun it's just like I don't know I need I need I need a good a fucking good good new Total War game and if that happens then perhaps that'll really reignite my uh, my flame with both YouTube and Total War for that reason but We'll have to wait and see. I'm still in the in the in the partner program. I haven't been kicked out yet, despite my <laughs> months of absence, which is surprising. I'm kind of trying to f fly low uh, under the radar, um, so they don't realize I'm actually still there. Uh, because once they do, they'll probably be like, "Hey, this this guy hasn't uploaded in months. Let's get him out of here." So for now, I'm still in there. Um, and um, yeah, anything that actually happens on the new Total War front, you'll definitely hear from me. Again. Anyway, should we play the game that we we came here to play? I think mean, it's like five minutes of rambling. Um, so, Zivsky sponsored a how does this work again? Oda campaign, specifically a. Oh, I still remember. This is all like these are uh, what do you call these? Oh, sorry, my dog Vito is next to me as well. He wants to say hello, apparently. Uh, this is all like uh, muscle memory, like clicking these buttons. I I know exactly what I'm doing, but once we actually get into the game, I'm sure I've forgotten many things. Uh, but yeah, he sponsored a specific Yari Ashigaru only challenge. He said this will probably be the easiest uh, campaign you've ever done. Um, or easiest challenge ever. So that's probably true. It's not really a challenge, but we're going to do it anyway because it's kind of fun. And because he paid me to do so, <laughs> so I feel like I should. Um, yeah, he said Oda Yari Ashigaru only challenge. Oda Long Yaris are included. He said focus on getting gold armor Long Yaris early as your death stack. So try to get encampments and armory tech early and beef up any recruitment problems early. Castle slash recruitment building for gold armor, etc. To pump out as many gold armored long yari as fast as possible. Whichever recruitment problems you want to go for. Biggest problem with Oda is getting the iron to make the armor master, but just one turn of trade to get her going. Also go for Chunindo early and focus on farm slash food surplus. Don't need to, to beeline the text above, but make it a priority versus other long uh, slash down the tree techs. Should be easiest challenge ever. Legendary, of course. <laughs> of course. I haven't played this game for probably... God, it actually has been a year, hasn't it, since I played Shogun 2. Well, actually, no. Not exactly. I did actually uh, record two episodes of this uh, in December, and then I didn't continue because I had no time. Uh, and then I kind of just deleted those because I didn't want to continue on from a campaign from four months ago. Anyway, uh, let's just get this started. Let's get the game rolling, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so this should be fairly easy. But it's just a nice little way to get back into Shogun 2. Because honestly, I, I still get comments fairly frequently with questions and stuff as well. On oh, Can we get the... Uh, what the fuck does it, she, she say again? Fuck, how can I not remember this? This is a disgrace. If our daimyo is to become Shogun, military ruler of all Japan. Military ruler of all Japan. There you go. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so I, uh, I just judging from that, I, I have definitely forgotten things. And yeah, I get questions fairly frequently still from people asking, um, you know, things about Shogun 2. And I'm like, yeah, I used to be able to answer this like, like that, like instantly I'm trying to snap my fingers, but I didn't come across on, on mic at all. Um, but um, now I'm, I have to like either look it up for them or think really fucking hard. <laughs> But it's uh, yeah, it's not it's not as easy um, as it used to be for me. But that's okay. Um, what are we what are we doing here? Uh, we def so we want to go for heaven and earth fairly quickly. I do remember the tech tree uh, for the most part. I think the, these things are all muscle memory as well. I have a nerve here turning those here. That's not going to be a problem. And I think I know most of what they give. Fire arrows, uh, accuracy. Okay, yeah, that's whatever. Um, I think we do want to start with way of Cheeto. Um, he wants us to focus on farms and stuff, so we want to get Chenindo relatively quickly. We want to get have a nerf relatively quickly. We want to have Evan a nerf, I think, before we get either uh, Kaga or Sagami. I'm thinking one of those two is the most likely to be our recruitment province. Because um, the next one over is like over here, right? It's either Bichu or Reason. I don't remember. One of the two. Uh, and we want to get Iron, which we get... No, I thought it was them, but that's stone. Where's the nearest iron again here? They We have some up here. This one. Other than that, I don't remember. I think there's some more around here somewhere. This is this is the kind of thing I used to know exactly where every single... There's one over here, right? Somewhere over here, there's iron. There's iron. 
One of these one of these fucks has iron, surely. No? I could have sworn there was one over here. There's one over here, yes, I remember that. Yeah, I, I used to remember all these things. Now I'm just fucking guessing. Uh, anyway, first things first. Oh, not that. Well, that also, but... Um, who the fuck are you? And you, get the hell out of here. You're not Yariyashi Garu. Uh, diplomacy, that's a thing. Oh, we don't have any to do. So that's nice. We're at war with the Imagawa, Saito, and the Ko Tokugawa. We're gonna take out the Saito in Mino right away. Um, we have some generals. General. We have Oda Nobuhide. Nobunaga is yet to come of age. And we have Takayama Mineori. Very cool. And Oda Gozen. Uh, this is all irrelevant. I don't know what I'm saying these why I'm saying these things. Let's recruit some units, just the two will do. And then we'll probably want to build rice patties. It's probably best. Or do we want to go for no, we don't need, we don't need, we don't need a trade port or anything right now. We want to get rid of the Yari drill yard, I think. I mean we We're not allowed to recruit Yari Yari Samurai anyway, and we're not gonna recruit our long Yaris here, so we may as well get rid of that. Uh, and then yeah, our army. We definitely want to take Mino turn one, so I think we're going to do that. We're going to use probably the general or daimyo and one Yari Ashigaru for that. And then I think we can take this fairly easily with just like a single unit. I want to do that trick where we move like two units into the forest here and then we can just grab to the Mikawa, the Tokugawa land when they move their units towards Owari. So I think we're going to use... Nobuhide to take out Saito. We know there's no units in here. That's stuff I still remember. And then I think I want to have one bro helping him out. Because that isn't... I mean, it's probably auto-resolvable, but we'll probably need a unit there anyway. So I think we're going to grab one of these guys and shove him over there. All right, we'll auto-resolve that. Victory! Alright, we'll peacefully occupy that. No vassals for me. Oh, it's doing that thing again. I thought it I didn't I don't remember. Well, I do remember this, but I don't I didn't think I had that anymore. I thought I found the solution to why I had this weird thing whenever the first save happens. When I start Shogun 2. It does that weird lagging thing, and I thought I found the solution for it, but I probably forgot. Even if I did. Um Right, then I think we want to have a unit in there. And maybe we'll shove the general back in there as well. Nobuhide. How happy are we here? 11. Okay, so we're going to gain two... Uh, that's if he goes away, right? So we're going to gain six, so we'll be on minus five. Then minus four, and then I exempt tax, it'll be fine. Uh, but if I move the general out, it won't be, but then I could recruit a new unit there next turn, so that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna shove, we're gonna take the general out. We know that the Mino is stuff I remember as well. Certain things I'll just remember. They only have, I think, two units. Or is it more? Fuck, I think it's only two. God, I hope it's only two. I think they have, like, two units somewhere in the forest around here. I think it's a general and, uh, an Ashigaru or something. So this will be able to take care of that, no problem in the town. That's fine. And then we can shove these two... Somewhere in the forest, and we're going to try and grab um, Mikawa. I might want to move, like, just a little bit, f not too far, so I can perhaps get back towards the uh, Owari if, some if somehow I need the help. I think this is fine. They've only got one fucking unit in there. Surely they've got some stuff in the forest, then. I don't remember what they have. Either way, I won't be able to take it with just two units if they have an army in there, but we kind of want them to go here, and then we just shove shove our army into the town. And be like, yeah, that now. Uh, cool. So that's that. We're trading with Akita Batake. Oh, we have more trade available now. Right, Anaga Koji. Will you pay me some money? This I remember as well. Although I do not expect to profit from it. Uh... This is not really worth it. Will you pay me the bitch, Goku? That's coming back. Yes! Would it be my ally? No? Good, because I don't want to be your ally either, so that makes for easy negotiations. Asai, you're going to die, I think, this turn. Will you give me all your money before you do, please? Now speak of your wishes and intentions. My intentions are to bang your daughter? 
Okay, he's willing to pay me 10. 10 Koku. Fair enough. Do we have Vassal? No? Fair enough. Everything's fair. Iko Iki, you disgusting piece of shits. Will you pay me money? Both being wasted. So much time. What do you want? So much honor. Ten Koku from you as well. Wow, what phenomenal deals I'm making here. Kizo, I thought we were already trading with you. We're not. We're trading with the Kita. But no. Well. Yes, the Kita Batake. That's the people over here. Who will most certainly give us a threat of attack in a couple turns. Because they, I think they always do that. Alright, they don't want to peace out. In fact, I don't know if the Tokigawa can peace out, because they, of course, I think are linked, because they're vassal di Migawa. They don't get a choice in the matter, I think. Um, Kizo, why is being such a little bitch about your trade? Oh, he wants to be allied, though. As to the response you receive, that depends on what you offer. Will you do this out of interest? I don't want this, but maybe you will. Pay me money. I think he's actually more interested in the alliance than he is the, the daughter banging. Like, she's a bit young. <laughs> That's how I like. Um, yeah, I think that's it, to be honest. I don't want to ally with the Kizo on account of me wanting to murder them instead. This is an important distinction to make. Murder slash alliance, two very different things. Uh, right, well, I think, I think that's about it. Let's get a move on, shall we? Let's see what the enemy does. Well, there was the Tokugawa. I think they picked up some units from the forest and they almost ran into my ambush, which would have been bad. All right, so there's that battle. So we got a Yari Kav, a Yari Sam, two Yari Ashigaru and a Bo Ashigaru. I don't think they got the memo that this is a Yari Ashigaru only challenge. This seems incredibly unfair. They brought units that are not allowed in this challenge and I think we'll have to kill them for it because this is clearly um, against the rules. It's just not a fun, it's not a very nice thing to do, to be honest, but, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Right. Um, let's go. Okay, we got the Yari Kav and Yari Ash, Yari Sam from there. And then we have a Bo Ash and a Yari Ash from there. Okay, we're going to pop you out here. I don't want to go out yet because the Yari Kav will massacre me. i put you here and I'm going to put you there as well, actually. I want to be as far away from the archer as possible. Until the Yari start climbing up and then we'll send the general out to go kill him. Yeah, I want to try and not get shot, so I'm going to go even further this way. And then we'll kind of... Ooh, I might actually start shooting this guy. <laughs> Let's pop you over here for now as well. If these guys would dis um, dismount, that'd be great as well. I could risk my general going outside and trying to lure units, but if, if these guys start chasing, they're faster than the general, so I just, I'll just get caught and die. And that would be a sad way to lose the, the daimyo. It's not Nobunaga, but still. Would be a darn shame. Let's triple speed this for a minute. Only for a minute, though. Can we see their range? Is that a thing in this game? No, it's not. It's only my own range I can see. Are you going to shoot me? Because I actually don't want them to climb up either. Look at their morale. Jesus. Jesus. That's just terrible. I don't actually want them to climb. That would legitimately be... Okay, you know what? Let's give them a target then. General. Shoot at me. Shoot. Don't climb. Shoot. Oh, shoot. They're shooting at me. Oh, shit. They're, not, they're climbing. Fuck. Um, okay, well, in that case, let's line up for a charge, I suppose. Nope, the Yari don't get in there yet. Well, in that case, you can come over here as well, and you can start lining up to actually defend this place. Uh, let's just guard entrances, I suppose. So, if they go around the side here... Okay, get in there. We might actually be able to route them, just killing a couple of dudes. They're already reducing the morale. The Yari are getting up there, though. And he's in grave danger. And we don't want that. I prefer him to be in uh, minor danger. 
I actually think I... Oh, I still can't. I was going to say, I'll, send him, I'll still send him outside to kill routing units, but... I simply can't! Because of these fuckers. What are you doing? They're lining up over here. Oh, they're going to dismount now. Go on, do it. Do the animation, you piece of shit. I dare ya. No? Okay, never mind. Alright, well, they're getting massacred. That's good. Still can't do anything with the general until they dismount, but I guess they won't. They'll probably wait until everything else routes and then. Then they'll dismount. These units are just, like, constantly on the verge of breaking. Uh, see, this is really awkward, actually. I think I'm gonna have to line them up like this instead. Okay, we got... I still can't chase them, though. That's it for them. That does free you up, so actually, let's put you over here, and then we'll put you over here after all. That I'll have to do quickly! Run. Oh my god, we're gonna be out of position. Uh, line them up. It'll, it'll, it'll do. That's actually not the greatest of battles. Just inspired him a little bit. Can you just dismount already? Son of a bitch. General really can't do much here. Ooh, you lost quite a bit. Am I gonna... Am I gonna run into a bit of an issue here? Is that what's happening? No, that'll be fine. This shit, it's really annoyed me. 35 men remain. We'll fight until the end anyway, so I think we'll be okay. Give a cheeky bit of morale. You guys are being kind of out... You know what? That's actually going particularly poorly. We're almost losing this battle. Because we're getting outflanked, and we weren't in position to begin with. Uh, I can't really flank around unless I... I need to, slip. I need to flank around, though. This is really annoying. I must have run them through, but I'll lose all of my men if I do that. Huh. Okay, let's... Okay, they're, they're losing morale. This should have been a pretty easy battle, but... Let's chalk it up to having not played for a while. Okay, that really needs to route them, or otherwise I'm going to lose my general, so that's not good. Let's give them a cheeky charge. They're shaking as well. Where's my daimyo at? Honestly, it's a good thing these guys didn't... Actually, no, it's not a good thing, because if I did dismount, I would have been able to do a lot more with my general. Fuck, I've only got two men remaining here. Am I losing? <laughs> Shit. They're gonna capture the point in a minute. Oh fuck, they're on it. You. Use your the remainder of your lives to get on the point. How are you guys still chasing me? Stop. Oh my god, they're dead. And now they're dismounting. No! This is actually really bad. Oh my god. Don't make me lose this fucking battle. I never would have lost this a year ago. Okay, they routed. Good. Get on them. And then you need to get around and capture the point back. And then we got this fucking unit to deal with. At least they're taking a minute to climb up. Their morale must be terrible. They're rebels as well, so that they'd be terrible anyway. Morale-wise, that is. This should route them, hopefully. It didn't route them. I thought... Okay, it routed them. Thank fuck. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Oof, that was... A lot closer than it should have been. What the fuck did I do wrong here? I think them not getting it in position in time was a big problem. Also, the fact that they're literally turned the other way doesn't help them. Let's make sure we block ourselves off. Their morale is fucking... They're confident, though. Literally standing on the bodies of their fallen comrades. Oh, yeah, well, we're confident. We could take them. We should win this no problem now. They'll, their morale will start dropping soon. Because they've lost so many men. Just wanted to get in there sooner. I really... This this unit... It needs to survive. For one. And also it just... It should have had a lot more men remaining. But... Where the Oda... Will recover. Fuck me just one more. Jesus Christ. 
Okay, you guys are something else. I need to wait for them to all to be in there. Because if this guy disturbs the charge, it's going to be ruined. Yariyashugaru Niko's iPhone. Sorry, this charge will likely route them. i got to be careful, though, if I don't lose my... Uh, I am you. Honestly, I don't even see him in there anymore, but he's still alive. There he is. All right, well that was a fucking disgrace. Jesus Christ, victory was it? I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to tell. Why are you going that way? That just seems like illogical. They're literally. In, did they? Oh, they captured fucking. That's why. Stupid, stupid idiots. Is that really faster than going over the bridge? Am I even going to be able to reach them? I don't remember if these guys shatter or not from... Because they're rebels. I think they still actually will survive. Which is not a terrible thing. Because it's more experience for my general. But Come on, get ahead of them. If I can weaken them a little bit more though. This will at least make my general level up. Yeah, whatever. Get the fuck out of here. Close victory. Well, doesn't happen often. But I think I agree, game. You make a valid argument on account of me losing all my fucking men. I almost uh, clutched defeat from the jaws of victory there. All right, well, that doesn't matter. Um, at least we gained some experience, am I right? Ho oh, ho. I am. I am right. There's the uh, Saito. Yari Ashigaru is the only unit you will be able to recruit in this game. All right, cool. Um, they're actually so weak that I probably... Oh yeah, with the extra units, of course, I can definitely chase them. Cool. Strategist. I don't f remember. I don't think we discuss. Oh wait, yes, he also... Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading the Discord. I've got it on my other screen. He actually did say later as well, and go for Ashigaru Commander to make the Yaris as Yari Amazing as possible. You can call it the Yari Amazing Challenge, right. Um... I almost forgot about that. I was like leveling him up just now. I was like, wait, didn't we also discuss something about Ashigaru Commander? And then, yeah, it says it there. So yeah, we're also going to go for Ashigaru Commander. Which is fine. Normally, I would go... Uh, three points in here, three points in here. One, 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 and then three points in here. We're going to have to skip out on this, which is unfortunate. Because this is like one of the best things in the whole game. Um... Instead, going for full morale, which we all need, but it does make sense for the challenge, so we're just going to do that. What do we got? Ooh, the Sword of Amaterasu. That is pretty good. Fuck the hero worshipping boy. Imagine having... The, this is the fucking... Um, the um, annoying fan from Oblivion. Impressionable youth can have its uses. What morale for... Uh, would you really have morale from the, a random dude walking around worshipping you the whole time? Anyway, the Sword of, is fucking great, so we'll take that. Um, right, so then we have a general and a Boa Shigaru. That should be fine. Uh, should it? The thing is, we have to go attack him because he's gonna, he's going for the farm, so he's gonna start destroying shit if we don't stop him. I think mean, we're gonna have to use our general for that. Can't do anything here, but I think we'll probably keep you in the forest. Could bring you back, I suppose, but I think this is fine. Wait for them to attack still. I might even send an extra unit to go help them. Uh, right, so we've got a choice to make here. We can either... Maybe I can do both. Let's say we can either jump these two guys and kill them off, or we can go after these ones. Should I...? No, I shouldn't. I was going to say, I could go with just the two... I could just send a Yari Shigaru and just do two... Two Yari Shigaru, no general, but I think... That might be a little bit too risky. Uh, money, by the way. I have money left over. We can buy some more shit. Should I upgrade these farms? I probably should. And then... Probably want to wait until I can build a market. Which will be next turn. So, do I... Upgrade the roads or something? Hit the roads, Jack. Don't you come back? No. I don't want to upgrade these ones, I think, because... Once the Takeda inevitably come through here, we'll want to delay them as much as possible. Probably. I don't think I want to upgrade these roads either. I either... I think I'll build the harbor, but I'm, I might cancel it next turn if it turns out I need money for something else. Um, such as more units. Right, so I think... 
I'll be able to do both of these things, but it is awfully risky. So what I could do... Ah, that's pointless. Let's just send these two broskies out. Oh, should I send him back and help have him help out instead? Just to get the extra experience. I think I will. Maybe I leave this unit in the forest. I think that's there's no harm there. Okay, so let's do this. You two are gonna go here. And then you're gonna go and attack him. They show shouldn't run. No. Alright. Good experience for him as well. Extra money for me. And then I think you're just gonna gather up these men. And I guess not run in there. You guys could run in there, but that doesn't. Eh. No, yeah, stay with stay with him actually, just in case the Tokugawa do actually come out and attack me. Right, and then you are gonna go help out this Broski. Do I want to take this wounded unit with me? Probably not. How unhappy are we in Mino? That's the problem as well, isn't it? We can up or recruit one unit. So as it stands right now, this would be enough. If there is a unit in here at the end of the turn. So I think what we'll do is we'll move you here. And then we'll attack it with you. And then we can move him in there for sure. And the general maybe as well. Alright. Let's do this. A general and a an Boashikaru versus me. And my men. <laughs> Which is a general and a Yariashikaru. In case you hadn't noticed. Uh, Alright. Let's do it. I have to pull out some cheeky tactics here, I think, to not get shot to pieces, but should be okay. We technically, in terms of unit type, we definitely outmatched them. Um, but it's the, I think the main problem would be trying to keep my general safe. I suppose I would go for fog if we can get it. Not rain. <laughs> Let's take dry. Uh, oh, my unit's coming from their side of the field, but that's okay. Alright, I'm just gonna sit there. That's fine. Are they gonna move once this unit? Yes, they will. Are they coming towards me? No, they're not. Alright, start heading this way. Triple speeder. It's a shame there's no uh, six times speed anymore. I always found that kind of funny about uh, Medieval 2, but I think Rome as well. Where it's like, you have normal speed, then you have double speed. And what comes after that? Six times speed! Obviously! <laughs> Not triple. Six! Anyway. Um... Right, that's, I don't know why I stopped triple speeding this. That seems silly. Um, oh God, I used to be able to tell the fucking distance of archers pretty easily. Now I'm like, no idea. Uh, um, oh, fuck. Well, that's it, I guess. If they're going to be focusing on them. And let's put you in this formation. Charge up there. I'm gonna charge my general in there. Ah, don't shoot me. That should be fine. Oh, it's gonna be a lovely fucking charge. Nice. They only got well, never mind. Let's say they only got one volley off, but never mind, I suppose. We can go into normal formation. And let's put you in Yari Wall and just run you straight through. Do I wanna pull you out? That's what she said. Alright, that's fine. I don't think I've lost a single general guy yet. Holy shit, that's pretty good. Alright. Now, let's do that thing. The old strategy where the enemy general doesn't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I call it the bamboozle. Where they, they just stand there. And they, um, they don't seem to have any knowledge of why we're here. Are you ready? 
Uh, shit, I need to know what the hotkey for this is. I don't think I have... Oh, I do have a hotkey. What is that? The fuck button is that? Is that this one? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. No, don't, don't do it by yourself. Here we go. Poke him! <laughs> oh, yeah, I do next actually need to paint because I want to... Oh, shit, their fucking archers have recovered. Son of a bitch. I need to get my general into these guys ASAP before they route. Because, or when they route, so the general doesn't get away. Oh, fuck. You're not allowed to come after me. What the hell? Get in there. Save my general, man. Okay, there we go. There we go. Is the general dead? I see... One guy, that's not the general, so yes, the answer has been answered. The answer has been answered? The question has been answered, or the answer has been given. Alright, well, we lost 33, 34 men. That's acceptable losses for a battle such as that. Oh, literally no one gets to go away. That one guy is like, I'm in the clear! No. Was that a heroic victory? Well done. Back after months and months of not playing this game and straight back into heroic victories. It's as if I never left. But I did. Alright, that's good. You're gonna be close to leveling up again. That's a lie. Stop lying. Uh, okay, sweet. So you can actually both get back into town, which means I can secure... Oh, right, and we get military crackdown. Oh, well, stop this shit then. More money for me. Uh, cool. Well, with that, I think that's all I've got. Do we have any more trade or something to do? No? Uh, oh, the Asire's still alive. Surely they'll die soon. Wait, who's that? The Sakai. What the? Okay, I never noticed. I don't know. Well, it, it doesn't actually. I was going to say, it looks so much like the Oda thing, but it I mean a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. Um, it's another thing I used to know. Fucking every single symbol of every single clan, minor or not, in this game. And now I'm just... Who the fuck are you? Ready to shop to the Asai on account of them being dead, I suppose. I right, will probably want to switch this to Toto Fukun. Or Bushido. But I think Toto Fukun's fine. Although that doesn't... That's not going to save... Mission issued capture, but couldn't have given that to me on turn one. Uh, so this would be the SI. Okay. No major clans dead yet. Probably because the normal, normally the first clan that dies is Todu, uh, Tokugawa, but <laughs> we are the ones who have to kill him this time. Alright, cool. So that's going to be that for now, I think. Um, next time... We're going to do some more conquering. I know this wasn't a super long episode, and especially because there's a bunch of rambling at the beginning, but from now on it should be back to uh, regular, normal episodes. I don't know what... I don't even remember how long I used to make my episodes. Obviously, I've done everything. But I think I ended up on between, like, 40 to 50 minutes or something. But I might have also ended up on closer to an hour. But I think for now we'll stick to around 45-minute videos. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're happy that I'm back. Let me know in the comments how happy you are from a skill of 1 to 2. Not a whole lot of choice there, but you know. Just let me know. And uh, I'll see you next time for some more uh, of this. I should also mention, just quickly, right at the end of the video, why not? Um, I'm going to try and record as much of this as possible right now. I am going on a holiday for two weeks in, um, uh, in like four days to the Philippines. Uh, to meet my my wife's family, finally, after years of being together. <laughs> Couldn't go every time because of COVID, and then our son was born and all that. So, But now we're finally going. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much I'll be able to record and how much I'll be able to upload during that time. But So I don't know how often this is going to go up. But um, hopefully it will be a semi-regular thing every couple of days or something. But no promises for now. Anyway, until next time, have a good day and goodbye.